Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing the uh, Squalor 1521. Uh, it's not really a review or anything, it's just uh, it's a watch I've grown to love and so I've gotten several of them and well if you like a thing you buy more and that's what I've been doing. So I just wanted to show you the different types here so just to have a, a reference. The first one is this. Um, I have heard a, an interview from um, from the uh, CEO from Squalor and he mentioned that this is probably the best-selling watch, um, which is of course a very, very nice watch. The, uh, the blue and the bezel blue and so it's, it's a really uh, a hit. Uh, I bought this as the first watch. Um, and I really liked it. I was very afraid it was too big. I, I struggle having anything above 40 millimeters on my wrist. I have a seven inch wrist, so I can wear bigger, but I just think um, I have a trouble wearing big watches and I was very afraid of this one, but everyone told me this is wearing very much smaller than uh, 42. Uh, it, it wears something like a 40, they say. So I took the plunge, I tried it and it worked and I just fell in love with this kind of um, this case shape and the way the uh, the locks turn down. It's um, and, and then I just got, bought more of them and I really I really like them. Um, so this is not a review. It's just a thank you note to uh, Squalor, basically. Uh, and, and so that you can see the different uh, iterations of it of the watch. So this one is the first. Um, then I decided to go uh, for a quite different look. So it's the same case shape, but there's uh, many differences. The first difference is uh, on, on a lot of the squalors, it says the, the logo here on the, on the case. I don't find it a problem, but I, I would rather have it without. And in this one um, they have omitted it so it's a much cleaner look for my taste and and so i went with this model as well the second difference is the uh, the hour markings here this is printed and i've heard a lot of people saying ah oh, i wish they come out with applied indices and i am a big sucker for applied indices so I don't think it matters on, on this watch. I really like the blue one here uh, with the printed, but I would definitely like uh, applied indices. And yes, they listened. That's what they got here. So that's the second big difference. The third difference is that um, this uh, the dial here is it's sunburst, but it's it's just plain. Um, well, plain sounds like a bad word, but it's just a straightforward uh, dial. Whereas this one has an engraving, or I don't know what, how they do this, uh, stamped dial. So it's a textured dial. And this is really, um, really, really special. Um, it has a wave pattern. And of course, the, uh, the the name Onda, Squala Onda, the Onda is the uh, Spanish word for wave. And so it's very fitting to have those waves on it. Um, so that's basically uh, another difference. Um, a difference again is the bezel, uh, which is uh, here, in this case, it's aluminum. And it matches the dial really well. Um, and I like that dial uh, and that bezel, but here, this is really special where you've got this um, a very, very special way of producing the, uh, the bezel. Um, it looks a little bit like the Rolex uh, Jagdmaster, um, but in any case, this is really a different, it's steel and a textured bezel. So it's a very, very different watch. Um, same case shape, but with the difference on the squalor, a difference on the applied indices, a difference on the bezel. And all in all, 
it's just a wonderful addition. So it's not the same watch after all. Um, so I really enjoyed these and also the blue color here, uh, the light blue on the right here is, is gorgeous and it really lights up the wrist. Um, as with all my watches, I, I'm a sucker for different straps, so I can't, I can't help myself, I change out to... So these are not the straps following the... Um, from Squalor, it's my own straps I put on. So with these two, I was really happy and then I th saw a third one and wow, yeah, I just said I, I've got to have, have that as well. I like a white watch um, and I know divers uh, are not supposed to be white and I know divers are not supposed to be on leather so yes do comment on it but basically I really love that look so it's the same uh, bezel um, and this is called the Squale Reef um, it's sort of a limited edition from a, an Italian um, and then the applied markers are different as well here so yeah, and I can see I have not aligned this. Let me get that straight. Like this, really nice action. Um, but look at those applied indices. You've got the square ones, very, very small. And then you've got the straight patterns and then you've got the triangle here. So they really did different things here. But the bezel is the same no marking here um, so it's uh, again a little bit different and it has this sort of a it's not quite white there's a, a tinge of light blue and there's a tinge of gray in it um, especially if you compare it to the hands the hands are really white but you can see the background the dial is not so they, they're different but all in all, I'll just say you've got the same case shape, the same brand, and they managed to pull out three very, very different looking watches, and I really adore them. Um, the only thing I'm missing is the... Um, I had a chance to buy the uh, TGV... Um, I'll, I'll put a, a photo up on it the TTV version, uh, he made a special version a few years ago. I had the chance to buy it but didn't do it and I'm kicking myself now. I think it's a gorgeous watch, a red bezel, so the bezel is red and this one is like dark grey, bluish. Um, Really wonderful combination. If I could get my hands on it, I would buy that today. So there you have it, Squalor 1521. And just to sign it off, I'll just show you another one. I thought it was so great, so I've bought this one as well. Also a Squalor, but this is not the 1521. This is the 60 Atmos. Uh, an altogether different watch. And I knew this is much bigger, so... Let me try to compare them. Very much bigger watch, uh, very different watch. Um, I knew I was playing a big risk of taking this. I've heard several people saying this is about as maximum as they can go on their wrist. And I knew this was too big for me. And yes, it's too big for me, but I bought it anyway and and when i'm in the mood for a big watch i use it and i really love it because it sits very comfortable again even though it's a much bigger watch uh, there's something about this case shape and the way the locks curve down it sits very comfortable i don't feel the uh, the weight and the drag like i do with other big watches um, so I just love the style as well. I'm not going to buy more of these, but I really enjoy this one here. Um, so, and you can see the domed uh, sapphire here. One thing about the um, the squalor, the uh, the sapphire is anti-reflective coated, and that makes a big difference because it's such a clear view to the dial. I really love that. So all in all, uh, this was just a long shot. It was great, but these, 
these are here to stay in my collection and if I ever get hands on a GTV I will do that. I have an, an idea that Squall is probably going to tempt me with some other dial variation uh, sometime in the future but this is definitely a brand I would go with. Um, so there you have it, that's my view, thank you and see you next time.